All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install your SneakJet Infinity printer. So first from the box, go ahead and take out this piece. And we'll go ahead and pull these screws out. So you'll see in front of you, I already have drilled my holes into the conveyor. Make sure that you start off with a smaller size drill bit, work your way up to the larger size drill bit. All right, now that we have that, go ahead and line it up with our holes. So I've just got those hand tight for now. And these square nuts do a pretty good job of biting into the metal uh, on its own. So you may or may not need a pair of pliers to hold it still when you go to tighten it. So you'll go ahead and grab the largest size Allen key in the kit. And just tighten those up. And yeah, I got lucky and those nuts are biting back there, so I'm not gonna need any pliers. Oh. And tighten it for good measure. Great. Now the next thing, you can go ahead and grab either of the bars, but the shorter of the two is what I'm using. Get them in here, and we'll just tighten that up real quick. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount my photo eye onto this first bar, um, but there are other options. It can be mounted onto the sidebar or anything. You'll see there's several different options to set it up with. Here are the pieces for your kit. So we've got this guy, these two pieces. So I'm just going to use these three pieces right now for the sake of this video. there and tighten it down. So now we're going to go ahead and take that one off. And they come with these extra pieces so that you can mount these in different positions. Next, out of your box, you'll see you have this piece here. This comes off, and we have our long bar here. That needs to be loosened up there. Great, now I'm going to show you how to mount the printer to the fine tuning device. You're going to go ahead and remove this plate on top. After you remove the plate, you're going to go ahead and remove the thumb screw, backing it out counterclockwise. Great. Now let's see if we can get it on the camera. If you look in there, you'll see two holes. We've got two screws and they're going to mount onto the printer. So on the printer, you'll see we have two screw holes on the bottom. We also have two on the side here. We're going to use the bottom ones. So we'll go ahead and line these up and get our screws in there. 
These are what your screws look like there. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and put our thumb screw back in. Now what this does is it allows us to get just millimeter movement to the printer up or down. You'll see as I turn the screw, the entire mechanism there moves down the printer. And as I turn it counterclockwise back up. So we're going to go ahead and put the plate we removed back over here because that's how we're going to clamp it to the printer. All right, so we've just got those crews started. And you'll see here it uses compression with this fitting to stay onto the bar. So if I could slide it here on the back side, it's a little high. Let's go ahead and put it on the front. Great. Now that we've got it onto the bar, we can go ahead and tighten our screws. So that you tighten this bar evenly, go ahead and just tighten them a little the first go around and then come back and tighten them up nice and snug after that. And we are nice and snug there. So lastly, we'll go ahead and put our photo eye in. Great, so here's our photo eye. Inside the bag with your photo eye should have included two of the steel nuts. We're gonna use those to clamp the photo eye into place. It's very simple. Make sure you've got your mounting, uh, your photo eye mount here nice and snug so it doesn't move around. You just simply slide it through there on the back side. So let's do that one more time. And then put the other steel nut on the other side. And tighten it down. All right, let's move our camera a little bit. So as you'll see here, if you can see it, these are labeled. The first one here being for your sensor, second one here being for your encoder, and if you purchase a printer that has the capability for RS-232, you'll use this adapter here. Great, now you're gonna wanna tighten these down with a screwdriver. And now that's nice and snug. Last thing you're going to do is go ahead and plug the printer in and power it on. All right, now that we're plugged in, we're going to go ahead and press the power button right above the adapter there. And give it a moment to load up. When the printer loads up, the beacon light will turn red and it'll start beeping. To stop it from beeping, you'll simply press this print on button one time. Once we get the printer set up and a cartridge inside, this beep will stop. 